composure standpoint, you know, I thought it was great for our university, uh, great for the Big 12, just wasn't uh, great for Baylor, you know, and that was the number one objective, which, you know, we didn't accomplish, I didn't accomplish. Uh, but Oklahoma's a very good football team. And, you know, we have a new challenge this week going to Stillwater, go to a place where, in my tenure, we haven't uh, fared that well, so we have a chance to, to do something that, you know, we haven't been able to do. <clears throat> John Warner, Waco yes. Trip. Art, you uh, you just mentioned that y'all hadn't fared well there. Why is that place so difficult in, in your mind? You know, I, I think honestly, John, I think all the Big Twelve, you know, venues are hard. I mean, it just is. It's hard to, you know, it's hard to win on the road. It's hard to win at home. You know, I mean, you just got got to hit everything. I mean, just like the other night, the margin for error is just, you know, it's so minute, you know, and small that you just if you have one mistake within a drive, you know, it could eventually uh, cost you the outcome of the game. So that when you get into games of this nature, you know, that's just the way it is. Every time we've gone to Oklahoma State, you know, since I've been here, I think we went there in eight. Uh, you know, they came here in nine. I know we we're there in 11 and 13. I'm not sure about 10. Where were we at in 10? Did they come here in 10? I don't Did we even play them? We played them eight and nine here. Eight and nine. Eight there, nine here. Eleven there, twelve here, thirteen there, fourteen here. But I don't remember about ten. Yeah, we might not have played them in ten. I don't know. Is that when the conference was kind of switching? Yeah. For some reason I'm drawing a blank. That was Robert. Yeah, that was Robert's junior year, or sophomore year. But uh, yeah, it hadn't, hadn't been good. They've been really good every time we've gone up there. I mean, that's that's kind of the bottom line. They're always a good football team. I. I actually have a whole lot of respect for them as a team because I think they, uh, I think they do a great job of playing within themselves. You know, they, you see them in all types of games. Uh, they never panic. They always have poise. Uh, they always believe in their system, offensively and defensively and special teams. And I think a lot of it's got to do with, um, you know, how long Coach Gundy's been there. You know, they've been in the system a long time. Uh, they've done a good job a long time, pretty similar to Coach Stoops in Oklahoma. You know, I mean, those those guys have seen a lot, done a lot. They understand a lot, and uh, so I have a lot of respect for them. They, they're they're a tough out. Bryce Cherry, Waco Trib, Art Ish Zamora broke kind of a long return in that yeah. second half of that game the other day. Are you surprised with the speed that you guys have back there that maybe you don't break a little, a few more of those? Oh, we'd like to say, you know, you don't get very many chances at kickoff returns. You know, we kind of weigh the option of, you know, if it's a yard and a half deep, do you take a knee, put it on 25, put it where you want it, as opposed to bringing it out and having a chance of, of getting a block in the back or having a chance of not getting it to the 25. I mean, national average on kickoff returns is about 18 to 22 yards. You know, surprisingly, it's not very much. Or, you know, the potential of a turnover. So you weigh all those things. But we knew we'd get us a couple shots the other night because the ball was getting heavy. It was kind of raining. They were kind of kicking into a little bit of breeze. So we knew you know, in the fourth quarter that we would have kickoff returns there. And we weren't surprised with this. You know, I was actually surprised that, that he, he honestly didn't score. Number 10 came from the backside and made a really good play on him. And, um, you know, we, we lost a good chance for a moment. And then we ended up scoring because we punted, held them, then scored. But, you know, we should have banged one in right there uh, just to carry on the momentum from the crowd because the crowd was pretty hot right then. But, you know, I, there's good kickers. You know, good cover of people. And it's just, like I say, people are placing the ball, and it's hard to get really good returns. So when you get one, you got to make it count. And he did. Jerry Hill, Baylor Bear Insider. Art, uh, last couple of games, are there similarities in what K State and Oklahoma did in terms of shutting down the run? And and Johnny Jefferson has not been in. I don't mm -hmm. think the last couple of games is is that an injury issue? Uh, you know, shutting down the run. I, I think we're a little bit different run offense now than we might have been. You know, prior to K State, uh, you know, so that's that's something that fits a little bit into the equation. Um, you know, K State's perennially a, a good run stop defense. I mean, we've um, you know always uh, you know respected them run first. Oklahoma's the same way. I mean, those guys are going to stop the run. That's just you know kind of how they you know base their philosophy. And Johnny, I, I think you'll see Johnny play this week. I mean, it's just been a situation where you know he's got a lot of talent. And, um, you know, the flow of the game just hadn't dictated. And like you said, we hadn't really rushed the ball that much. I mean, uh, K-State, I think we had 60 snaps 
you know, that's not a lot of snaps. Uh, and, you know, the other night, you know, we weren't, weren't very successful running the ball. So, you know, we'll see. But we have, we have a lot of confidence in him. Sean Giggy, News 10 Sports. Coach, last year you guys had that one loss at the end of the year, and I know there was a lot of discussion whether you guys are TCU, one loss, deserve to be in. Uh, I think right now most people have kind of written you guys off as you're out of the playoff picture, but if, do you feel that if you guys can win out and all the pieces fall your way that you still are very much deserving of being in that conversation? You know, really, I hadn't, even, I hadn't thought that far and, and really hadn't thought that far prior to last week. It's just that I've just been flooded with so many questions about it that you, you know, you get tired of saying, you know, the, the old true coaches cliche that it's one game at a time, you know. So people get tired of, you know, hearing that and writing that. So you, you add a little something to it. But, you know, we're actually in the situation now where, you know, our, our vision is, is pretty tunneled. You know, and it's at Stillwater, you know, this Saturday at 6.30. You know, so that's that's where we're at. And, you know, however, whatever happens from there happens. Uh, but I think as you can see and we all know that, you know, it's pretty hard to predict what's going to happen. And, you know, we got to go, you know, fight hard and try to get a win up there. Hey, Art, Suzanne Halliburton from I American see, Statesman. Yeah. Um, Jarrett. You were saying Saturday mm -hmm. night had some back issues. I just saw him grab some lunch. Is he feeling yeah. better? He's doing better. He's that's what I told him. He's moving around about like me, and that's not. Yeah, you know, I'm not sure how good that is, but uh, you know, for a, a 19 year old. But no, he he's fine. The the thing that that we were pleased about is he got an MRI yesterday, and all the results were negative. You know, so we're just dealing with uh, muscles and bruising, which which equates to soreness and pain. And so there's no structural damage, and that's that's the encouraging part. He actually is better today than he was yesterday evening, and that that's a good sign. And we think by tomorrow, and as the week progresses, that you know he'll be fine. He did it did trouble him some the other night. It happened, uh, I think, the third play of the game uh, is when it happened, and um, he did a good job of of really playing through it. Nick Canizales, KCN coach, you talked about the, having the tunnel vision, but you know, even despite the loss, the ultimate goal of winning a Big 12 championship is still within reach. Yeah, the way I can, you know, mathematically figure it, you know, I think we're still very much alive. So, you know, that's it. I mean, it, it's hard to go undefeated in this league. We know that, and everybody else in the league knows it. Uh, so, you know, if you can bounce around and, and have more numbers in the front and you got it to back when it's all over, then – you know, you'll have a pretty good chance when it's all said and done. But, you know, we we understand we got, you know, three tough weeks in front of us, uh, you know, starting this week with Oklahoma State. Uh, Steve Cooks, uh, Sikkim Sports. Coach, you had uh, several players banged up. Uh, Waz, Stewart, Blackshear, and Oakman and Bonds. Uh, any word on any of those guys? I think Waz is uh, probable. Blackshear... Uh, very, I'd say doubtful. Uh, Orion, I think we'll know a little bit more as the, the week goes on. Bonds, you know, I, I would think uh, doubtful on him. And um, who was the last one? Oh, I mean, Oatman's fine. Yeah, he's he's good. Um. Art, right, Tim Griffin with the San Antonio Express News. <clears throat> It looks like they did about as good a job on Corey as anybody's done all year. Uh, are you worried about his confidence lagging as far as that goes, and how is he going to bounce back, you think? Yeah, I'm not worried about his confidence, you know, at all. I mean, he's, he's a confident guy, and he'll, he'll continue to make plays. Uh, you know, they, they did an excellent job of, uh, you know, changing up some coverages and stuff. I think we, you know, probably could have been a little more forceful with the ball. There were some factors involved that uh, – you know, you you weigh uh, aggression as opposed to intelligence. You know, when you're in a game of that nature where, you know, we were behind the eight ball most of the game, we we're fighting uphill, and so you got to be really, um, you know, conscious of of getting productive, you know, plays when you have them because they were doing a good job answering offensively. Uh, so when you got the ball, you gotta you gotta play percentages a little bit more as opposed to, you know, just flailing it out there and letting it go. So. Um, no, nah, he, he'll be fine. And, um, you know, I, th I think as a offensive unit, we'll, you know, we'll be able to adjust. Okay. Uh, 
<laughs> Coach, uh, several people have asked me, do you have a kicker who can, on kickoffs, can get it to the end zone? Y'all had two that went out of bounds. Yeah. Do you have one, a kicker that can put it that far? Well, <laughs> yeah, I mean, we do. Um... I mean, consistently, is there, is I guess not. Somebody, the punter. Somebody told me the punter has a real good leg. He does have a good. <clears throat> he does have a good leg. Yes, he does. Uh, you know, and he's. It. You know, it, sometimes when a guy punts and kickoffs, it affects him. You know, one way or the other. Actually, the you know Spencer kicked off for us last year. We had more kickoffs than anybody in America. You know, and we're kind of on pace to do the same this year. When you have that many kickoffs, there's going to be a few that. You know, don't go where you want him to go. He, he was not as consistent the other night as you know he has been. He's been pretty good. It's, uh, you know, like I said, it's it's about a 50-50 shot on on having a return ball or not a return ball. The, the ones that go out of bounds are, you know, the ones that certainly bother you because it gives them about the 35-yard line. <laughs> Art Tim Griffin again. Uh, you mentioned earlier respect for Oklahoma State and the things they do. Particularly, what about what is it that makes their defense so tough? It looks like Lynn Spencer has done a nice job over the course of his time here. But what specifically, what is it that you like that they do? I, I think they're very. Uh, I think they're very creative. They they do a lot of variety. I mean, they have a lot of variety on the defensive side of the ball between a four man, three man front. And their coverage is on the back end. Spencer's been there a while. You know, he was there with Bill Young. Bill Young retired. He took over. They, you know, maintained, you know, the same structure, the same philosophy, um, and and done a, a really good job. They got good guys. You know, they get good people. They they do a good job recruiting the state of Texas. I mean, they'll have there'll be eight guys start on defense from Texas, seven or eight on offense. You know, and they do do a nice job of getting guys that fit their system. You know, uh, Mike's been there long enough that they got a really good idea of what they're looking for uh, in players. And they have enough uh, attractiveness as a university from a facility standpoint, you know, and home game atmosphere standpoint, that they can they can pull some good kids out of Texas to go up there and, and fit what they're looking for. So they, I think they've just done a nice job over the years of, uh, you know, having people that fit their philosophy come up there and play for them. Yeah, it is. I mean, it really is. JW does a great job for him. You know, comes in midfield, short yardage. Uh, you know, they'll throw with him. Of course, he was start a starter last year until Rudolph took over. And I think Rudolph's first start was against us last year. He's been the starter ever since. And, uh, of course, he does a tremendous job, you know, running their offense. And JW just adds that, you know, little extra benefit for him that, uh, you know, keeps you, you know, on your toes defensively because he can throw. You know, he's not just a running QB, and he's, you know, his fifth-year guy that's played a lot of stamps for him. You know, he's playing really well. Played really well last year, the whole year. You know, we ask a lot out of him. He delivers a lot. Um, uh, he's just, he does a tremendous job for us. I mean, he really does, being a lockdown corner on an island. You know, and um, so he's... He's lived up to, you know, what we need from that place on our defense. And he just continues to get better and better. 